Hey everyone, Paul Ake here with another physics problem solved. Uh, this is the channel where I solve the physics homework problems provided to me by my tutoring clients. Uh, take a look at the video description below for a way to contact me if you need a private tutor. My rates are reasonable and I'm really good at this. So, And if you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. And let's get to today's problem. So uh, let's read the problem. Um, we have a 0.55 kilogram ball attached to the end of a horizontal cord. It's re uh, revolved in a circle of radius 1.3 meters on a frictionless horizontal surface. Frictionless, okay. If the cord will break when the tension is uh, in it exceeds 75 newtons, what is the maximum speed the ball can have? This is a very common problem with circular motion. So it's a good one to, to do. So here's what you should be familiar with. I'm going to be drawing some free body diagrams. Hopefully you've seen that before. And we are going to be dealing with uniform circular motion, including centripetal acceleration and centripetal force. So you should be familiar with these ideas before attempting this problem. So why don't you go ahead and do that? Why don't you pause the video right now, try to solve this problem, and unpause if you want to check your work with mine. So very good. Let's begin. Here's what's given. Um, let's see, we've got this 0.5 kilogram ball and it's attached to the end of a cord and it's revolved in a circle on a frictionless horizontal surface. So I'm gonna kind of draw an oblique view of this. So here's my surface and here's the circle. It's moving around and here's the ball and here's the string that it's attached to. Now maybe somebody's holding it or maybe there's a hole that it goes down. I, I don't know. It's kind of a contrived situation. And we know what the mass of the ball is. Kilogram. Uh, result in a circle of radius 1.3. So I'll just kind of say, okay, the radius of this thing is 1.3 meters. Uh, on a frictionless, so sometimes I just mark that mu equals zero. The coefficient of friction is zero. There's no friction in this problem. And then here we're going to have a maximum tension force. So I'll call it Ft max. It's a force. It's a tension force, and it's the maximum possible tension force before the cord breaks is equal to 75 newtons. Now this thing is moving around in a, a circle. And what we want to find is, what is the maximum speed I can go without this cord breaking or before the string snaps? Okay, so let's get started on solving it. So we've got uniform circular motion here. Now, um, but I, I am dealing with force, so I'm going to draw a free body diagram, and I'm going to kind of freeze frame it right at this instant that it's here. So here's the ball. Now it's on a frictionless surface. It is on a surface, so we've got gravity pulling it down. And I've got a normal force um, basically supporting the weight of the ball. These two are going to be equal and opposite in direction uh, because there is no acceleration in the vertical direction. But we do have this tension force, right? So here's the tension force. Now this tension force, where is it pointed? This tension force goes right through the center uh, um, of the circle. And it's the only force pointed towards the center. So it's not only um, pointed towards the center, but it's the net force pointed towards the center. And the net force pointing towards the center of an of object moving in a circle, we call the centripetal force. Centripetal means center seeking. So that's what it's doing. Now, I usually, if I know the direction of the acceleration, I make that positive x, and we'll make this positive y. And all the forces are aligned with my xy axis, so that's good. And so now I can sum the forces in the x direction and set that equal to ma in the x direction. Okay. So there's only one force, and that's that tension force. And it's going to be equal to the mass of the ball times the acceleration. 
But what kind of acceleration makes us go in a circle? Well, that's a centripetal acceleration. And this is an equation you should, you should have been taught. A centripetal acceleration uh, will have a magnitude equal to the speed squared divided by the radius of the circle that you're moving around. So I have uh, a video somewhere <laughs> where I explain where this comes from. But that's our acceleration. That's called a centripetal acceleration. And so I'm going to substitute that in here, v squared over r. And this is nice because it has what I'm trying to find in it. If this is the maximum tension force, then this will be the maximum speed. So let's solve for um, the velocity. So I'm going to multiply both sides by r. And then I'll divide both sides by the mass. Okay. And uh, now I can uh, solve for the velocity. Just take the square root of both sides. And this should get us to our answer. And uh, so we know what the radius is. That was given to be 1.3. meters. And the maximum force that we can have before this string snaps is 75 newtons. And we were given the mass of the ball at the end of the string. Kilograms. And when we calculate all that, we get an answer. Just plug that in your calculator and you should get 13.3 meters per second. And since this is the maximum force, this will be the maximum speed I can go as I go around that circle. And there we go. Let's check units just for fun. And when I get meters per second, do I get meters per second with these units? Well, we're having the square root of meters times a newton. Now, what is a newton? It's mass times... Mass is kilogram. Remember, force is mass times acceleration. Kilogram, and then acceleration is meters per second squared. Divide that by kilogram. This is all under that radical there. And so notice that the kilogram cancels the kilogram. Meter times meter is meter squared. So I've got the square root of meter squared per second squared, which is meters per second. Yes. All right, the units work. So it must be right. Okay, so it's a... Pretty, um, pretty short problem, uh, simple problem, but a problem that you will probably see in your physics classes. Um, so, um, hey, if you found this helpful, like the video, please. I would so much appreciate that. If you're a physics student, subscribe to the channel. And uh, otherwise, good luck in your physics studies. May the net force be with you always. That is all.